so my dad and I decided to hit our local lake to do a little live streaming. Unfortunately, we only caught two small fish the entire stream. Afterwards, we thought we'd fish for the last couple hours of the day just for fun, when all of a sudden, this happened. Oh, look, 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 Pops, look, look. Look at this. Look at all these schooling fish. Schooling fish everywhere, guys. You might want to get, look at this, all around us. You might want to get jerkbait out. Whoa! Look, right over there. Oh, I missed him! I missed him! He bit it! He bit it, but I missed him. Oh, right there, right there. Right there, guys. It's starting again. It's starting again right there. I would just stop the troll motor so we don't spook him. Look at this. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. You guys see this? Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice. Yep. Got nice. Him. Guys, my dad has one. I'm going to keep casting. Yeah, yeah. Since they're... Oh, it's not oh. very big. Might be a little white bass or something. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now they're behind us. I mean, I could see... Uh-huh. Guys, they're all behind us now. Want me to get the net or do you just want to... Oh, no, I don't think I need that. Oh, it's a white bass. Yeah. It is. Oh, Those cool. are good eating yeah, if we want to keep them. Heck yeah. That is cool. Nice, Pops. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> On a jerk bait, guys. A little white bass. That's what. So, because we had white bass and striper, because I had a striper definitely attack my oh, yeah, top one. Oh, you had a big one. Big one. Oh, look at them back there. They're just going nuts. Going to the back of the boat, guys. Going to the back. Of the boat. Guys. Oh, look at him. This is nuts, guys. Just out of nowhere. I mean, it was a nice, quiet, calm evening, and all of a sudden, they the, the it's calm down, guys. As fast as it starts, it stops, and then it starts up again. So we just have to be patient. And wait for him to start. <gasps> or you just wait. Oh, I got a striper. I got a striper. You got him on. Oh, he just crushed this top water. I got him on. Oh my goodness. It's a striper too, the way he's running. Oh yes, get the net. Cool. Oh, this is fun. It was right between those two buoys. Not between them, but you know. Oh, that's a good fish though. He's got shoulders. I saw that wake. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh man. They are so strong, guys. This is one of the funnest fish to fight. Oh, that's a oh it's a hybrid. It's not a striper, it's a hybrid. Yes, a nice hybrid. Yes, thank you, Pops. Yeah, this is so cool. All right, guys, on a top water, I was applying a bluegill top water for largemouth, and I catch this nice hybrid. Whoa, almost got out of the boat. Almost got out of the boat. I got water under the flood, Sweet. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is so, so cool. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Oh man, guys, we just got done with a members only live stream and we were just fishing for like the last hour because it's like, well, we're out here. Even though the live stream is done, we will um, just fish and uh, wow. Look, God, oh, did you see it? He just sucked it down again. They were definitely want a walking, ba they want top water. Okay. That's, the, that's the third bite I've gotten on top yep. water. They're starting right there. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, guys, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> God, oh, shoot, he missed it. They definitely want top water. That's so interesting because normally they want yes. a jerk bait. Yeah. Right there, you see that, guys? Look, look at that. Oh, I got him. I got one. Got look, and they're, and they're jumping right there. Oh, I got a little white bass or something. Get him, Pops. My dad switched to top water there, guys. I got a really little one. Oh, look at that little white bass. That is fun. I'm going to throw this guy's a little small. I'm going to throw him back. You know, I keep getting bit when I cast right between the buoys and bring it out. I mean, that's three, like three casts in a row, three bites in a row. Got him again. Oh, did you see? He just smoked it. Got him. There we go. This is another hybrid or a striper. Just smoked it right in that same spot, pops. We we got a little we got a uh, we got a little golden spot there. I would cast right between those two buoys. Uh, it's five five casts, five bites. Guys, I'm using a bluegill color one. They're feeding on shad, and I'm using a bluegill color top order. They don't care. They just want something across the surface. Oh, it's another nice hybrid. Um, no, are you sure that would be? Then you can get back to your fishing. Look at just 
Yes, thank you. <laughs> Guys, another went. big hybrid. Another nice hybrid. Man, whew. are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? On, a, on an old Rapala, I've had this Rapala for years. Like since I was a teenager, I want to say. <laughs> oh, I just had one. You just had one? Are yeah. you doing a stop and go or a consistent yeah, yeah, one? No, no, I'm doing this. There we go. Yeah, they're hard. They, they strike and they don't like hook up a lot. There we go, my friends. There we go. Another really excellent hybrid. Oh, if only this could have happened for the live. Whoa, the live stream. Guys, we literally just got done with like a two hour members only live stream. We only caught two fish. And. <laughs> and sorry guys, it's just the way it is. All of a sudden you saw it just turned on. Me ancient just hooked up on his top water. A little... Hey, that might be a large one. No, it's another... Uh, another little white bass. Yeah. There's a mixture of... Uh, wow. Just a mixture of them guys. I think a big stripers, hybrids, and white bass in it down there. All right, come on, Asa, right in the middle of him. Got him, got him. Again, a third time. Just smoked it, just smoked it. This is a smaller one, I think. This is about as fun as fishing gets. Look, look, guys, right there, right there. They're just, especially they're, when you can see him. Especially when you can see him, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, he's, I, I, I see the minnow he's after. I see the shad that's, that's trying to get away. Uh, this is cool. Oh, I hooked him back. Oh, this is just a little white bass. I just hooked him really funny. So he felt a little bigger, but still Let's see I think I'm gonna th since we have two big um, hybrids. I'm gonna throw this guy back There's a sploosh right there That was why I'm, I'm at landing to the left. Oh, God. Oh, doesn't, oh matter. doesn't matter. He came right over Oh, he, oh that's a hybrid. That's a big one. That, that second hit there, that was a... Look at he guys, he turned my top one around. I got me all tangled. Oh, just, just, just look on me. Keep it moving. I think they like it. Well, I don't know. I keep mine moving. Yep, there we go. There we go. Got him? No. Oh, Pops. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, geez. he just broke my He line. just broke it. Oh, my That gosh. was a massive fish. Oh, that was a massive... Oh, gosh. Oh, look. Look, he's right by my top water. He pulled my top water. Got him. Oh, oh my good. gosh. Good, Guys. Oh, he snapped mine too. No what way. the heck? What the heck? That was... I have my drag set and everything. How did that happen? How the heck did that happen? Is it a fish with teeth? How does that happen? That was a... Oh, look. My top water's right there. See it on the surface? So he breaks my top water off, but then spits it out. Like... Oh, that, that was a massive fish. That was a, massive that was a striper. Fish. There's no way that was a... Whoa. Okay, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Oh no, he did get it. I'm sorry, he's running my way. What? Yeah. You have him? Oh, Set yeah. the hook. Make sure. Yeah. I, I have. That's crazy. What? So he was swimming oh, yeah, right yeah, towards you. I thought it was weird. I didn't see your top water. No, on the that, I was looking for my top water again. Whoa! So either I have him hooked funny, or he's he's okay, as far as size wise. That's crazy. So, like, that was a big old strike. Oh, nice. oh, look at that. He's, he's a good sized fish, I think. Like I say, I either have him hooked funny or he's a good size fish. Oh, that, no, that's a good size fish. I'm going to get the net. Net, net. Where's net? Net is right here. I'm a net man. Oh, he just oh. came. Oh, no. Sorry, did I get you? Oh, my gosh. Oh, shoot. Oh, guys, this evening oh, top water oh, bite oh, is insane. Oh, my word. On that. I'm glad I got that back. That right. Oh man. Well, that was fun. Mm, that was fun. Wowee. It seems like it's gone quiet too yeah, up here. It does. It does. Guys, what a what a such a fun time. What a blessed time out here. We came to this final cove for uh for and then the last like 30 minutes, 40 minutes of the day was just epic. So well we got some fish to eat. And I have an idea of uh, how oh. I'm going to cook these like that it. I haven't shown to you guys before. So, All right, guys. Uh, as we were getting ready to pull up out of the water, ran into a subscriber up here. And so I have something here. It's a hat. Hey, what's your name? Charlie. Charlie? Nice to meet you, Charlie. Nice to meet you. So I have something here. See, so you're wearing a hat. 
This is a new one. It's not even in the store yet. We have the, the Ace Foods logo is red, white, and blue. Yeah. It's the first one we ever made. You can have it if you want. Thank you. You're welcome. Man. Thanks well, for watching he, my channel. He got a uh, hoodie for Christmas. Oh, okay. He a hoodie. And he wear, every time we go to like, he wears it. He's like, I want to see Ace. <laughs> and he don't have it on. Oh shoot! Oh, that's yeah. fun. Is it the camo one or is it a black it's one? A uh, uh, blue one. A blue one. Okay, blue cool. One. Well, it's a nice to meet y'all. This is a beautiful boat, by the way. You, do you take this down to the coast at all? Yeah, we go down. Yeah. Down Very cool. Yeah. Okay. What was your name, sir? Jerry. J Jerry and Charlie. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet y'all. <laughs> Have a good evening. Hey, thanks for watching too, man. Got your breakfast. Look at her whining. Look, I got you something, okay? It's all right. Yeah. Good old half and half there. Ooh, and a good scrub down. Mm. Ah, there. Whew. She's shedding like crazy because it's spring. Look how foggy it is out here. This is kind of a cool morning. We are in the uh Smoky Mountain region. I'm allergic to my own cat. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning, and uh, the uh, the smoke, <laughs> the fog, which they call smoke, is clearing away. But uh, I like it. I think it makes a, adds a cool um, vibe to the morning. So let's clean some fish. Yeah, you want you want more loving, huh? What'd you do last night? She hasn't been eating very much, folks, because I think uh, there are a lot of baby birds for her to eat. So we'll give her food, and she doesn't even finish it. She didn't even finish her half and half over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've been eating birds? You've been eating mice? You've been eating any snakes, huh? She attacked a big snake, actually, one time. Uh, well, it was big to her. It's like a three-foot-long water snake. Oh, <laughs> She uh, and she was attacking it. That was actually a funny uh, episode. Yeah, you like to hunt, don't you? All right, you gonna eat some fish today? Will you sample some of my cooking? Get back to her later on that. We'll see. She's pretty ornery. I love all the bird sounds around here. Springtime, they are so active right now. All right, so I got my little fillet board set up here. This is very nice because I also have the hose right there. And uh, in here, we got our catch on ice. I also threw the shiners, the leftover shiners that we had on the ice because I'm gonna use those for something today. It would just be pretty cool. I'll show you guys. Now I could use these as catfish bait. That's a, a very good use for old shiners, but um, I like to try to catch fresh bait, like a fresh bluegill, and then use that. You got here the little white bass. I have not eaten one of these in a long time. Got our hybrids. Excellent. Man, we missed some big fish too out there as well, but hey, I'm happy with the two. Don't mean to sound ungrateful. Nice. <laughs> Nice, nice. I'm very interested to see what's in these fishes' stomachs. This one's fatter than the other one. My guess is just bursting with shad. Oh shoot, it's a female. Huh, that must be... Well, I thought these had spawned out. That's very interesting, because it's May. Wow, I thought by May these would be all spawned out. 
What do you think? Should we have some caviar? <laughs> uh, maybe I try smoke. You know, I'll try smoking these, and we will see. Uh, we'll see how they taste. All right. So that last one didn't have anything really in its stomach. So let's see if this one's any different. What? The stomach. It's basically empty. You know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if they cough up most of the shad while we're reeling them in you know like during the fight that does happen sometimes because that is weird that both of them had nothing in their stomach or else they're just really bad hunters and that's why they ate our lures all right everything's all cleaned up here i'll come back for those in a second i'll show you guys what i'm going to do with those well we have here a nice platter of fish i'm going to come over to the smoker folks i've been doing some experimenting um with hybrid and I have found one of my new favorite ways to cook them is on the smoker, but it's going to be different. We have here some seasonings. I've got some something that a subscriber sent me. Never tried it before. Sure Shot Sid's gunpowder seasoning. And it literally looks like gunpowder. That is crazy looking. Excited to try that. We'll put that on one filet. Then we have Slap Your Mama because I want some spicy uh, hybrid. And then we'll have my first cast seasoning on the majority of them. This one's gonna be so spicy, it's gonna make you wanna slap your mama. And this is the gunpowder seasoning. Take that, oh wow, look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> it literally looks like gunpowder coming out. To have here the throats of the hybrid, which we will smoke as well. And I have here the eggs. Don't know if those are going to be any good, but uh, we'll see. Let's see, do you season eggs? Eh, maybe just a little bit. All right, I have it set at 225 degrees. I learned that you don't want it too hot or else it, sm it cooks too fast and you don't have enough smoke flavor in there, but if you cook it too low, like 180 degrees or so, it takes so long to cook. There's too much smoke flavor, so 225 Leave it on here for about two hours. Well, I forgot to mention I am using cherry pellets today for you smokers out there. There we go. Yes. All right, now we're gonna come over here. I've got a bowl, and I'm gonna take the shiners, put those in there. Let's bring around to the other side of the house. I'm so happy that spring is here. Oh, love this time of year. This is a new addition to um, the house here. I have built this tiny little greenhouse from a kit, and it's not much. I don't have much inside of it because I don't have a lot of time for a big garden, but I always like to grow something. Deep down, I'm a farmer, folks. If I ever had, came, if I ever had to be a farmer, I would have no problem with that, but at the moment, I just don't have the time to grow a bunch of stuff. But I do want to grow a few things. So this is a sugar snap pea, grew him from a seed. Same thing with this a Campari tomato, grew him from a seed, got some cantaloupe here. The rosemary, I did not grow from a seed, but um, I have here a, a bell pepper, and then I have lettuce. And what I want to do is have just enough stuff where I can enjoy some fresh vegetables with my fresh catch that is gonna be so cool this summer and fall to be uh, able to eat some of the ve own vegetables that I've grown so I have here this lattice work that normally roses grew up on and then the roses kind of died tore those off now I'm hoping to grow sugar snap peas all up this and uh, have fresh sugar snap peas all summer and fall hopefully I've never grown sugar snap peas here in the Appalachian Mountains so I don't know how well they're going to grow, but a lot of things do well. A lot of people have big gardens. All right, so in the bottom of the hole, I'm going to put probably three little shiners for this one and cover them up. 
and I have here my little sugar snap pea. Oh, look, it's gonna reach. It is gonna reach. Maybe you'll peel away most of that pot. That's what it's there for. Oh, oh, he's droopy. So those fish planted at the bottom of this pea will act as fertilizer for it. So as those roots go down, they'll find the decomposed fish and be really healthy for it. And there we go. Excellent. We'll see how well he grows, but hopefully this little fella will climb up and cover this whole lattice work. It is going to be so cool eating fresh garden vegetables with my fresh fish. So we have here the smoking is going very well. In fact, it's been almost an hour exactly. These little pieces might just be about ready to be taken off. The bigger ones, I think they will need. I, I know they need more time. I do have here though some olive oil. The reason why I've got olive oil here is sometimes the tops of the fish I notice start getting a little uh, dry. Lock in the, the moisture. I've left the skin on all of them. So the skin that helps on the bottom part and this will just help on the top. Alright guys, now that the food is ready, uh, the ancient showed up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of now I, I always take responsibility for the, uh, the cooking here. This is a different one that a subscriber sent me. Good. I'll sh tell you about that. And this is, you know, I'm going to put, since this is unusual, I'm going to put it with that one. This is a um, uh, spicy one, slap ya mama. So, first cash evening. And then you know what we'll do is we'll just put it on here. This is the holding. You know, let's throw one of these white bass on there just in case there's a taste difference. I don't know if there's going to be any. They're both in the same family. And we'll throw a throat on there as well. <laughs> oh, I guess I got to try the eggs. Yeah, I did that smoke. That might be you try. I don't know. Oh, that's looking. That's looking. It actually just looks like a brat, right? It looks like a sausage. Heck yeah. With veins in it. <laughs> <laughs> turn this off. All right, shut that and uh, back behind here pops. I prepared a little spot in the shade. Look at this bush, guys. Oh man, like a cotton candy bush. So it's getting a little warm out here, so I made a little spot back here for us to sit. And uh, actually got an ice cold root beer here. All right. Wow, now I don't have any silverware, so. I have some in oh, my pocket, actually. <laughs> pocket full of silverware there. Of course. All right. You wanna say a blessing or? Sure, uh, sure. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all your creation we get to enjoy, especially in the spring. I see blesses food to our bodies now. Through Jesus I pray, amen. Okay, so what we have here is my traditional first cast seasoning on both of those fish. You know, I say the first thing we do is we try a bite of white bass and a hybrid go. and see if there's a taste difference. That sounds good. Man, that Look at the juice. Good, isn't it? You know, there's no butter. That's just oh, juice really? from the... There oh, is a little my. oil uh, uh, on top. Wow, he said that. Yeah, see, guys, the skin there locks in... Cheers. Bon appetit. Locks in the moisture. Well, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'm going to try... That sausage looking thing is kind of scary. It's kind that of is, wigging me out. Yeah, it's kind of wigging me out too, actually. I didn't think that one through how that was going to look and turn out. The, the, the white bass, I have to say, seemed a little dry. It and did. it might be just because it was so small. Yeah, it yeah. might be that you need these these um, a thicker fish to smoke like that. Mm. Mm. It's no contest. No contest. Hybrid is way better. Hybrid is way yonder better. Wow. Oh, yeah. mm. Wow. I think because the thickness i think it locks in the moisture more moisture to lock in so as far as that goes next time we can just let all the little white bass yeah. go if, if we're we catching catch a great big one maybe you know i don't mm -hmm. know how big they get but now we're going to try this is from a subscriber this is called the sid's sure shot gunpowder seasoning it looks like gunpowder coming out <laughs> it, it does it, it it isn't that appetizing compared <laughs> no to this. it doesn't now it looks kind of might be just because that's what i'm used to is seeing the the redder color but mm -hmm. I don't know. Right. cheers Wow. Okay. That's actually good seasoning. Mm -hmm. That's very unique too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the visuals, I have to say, when you look at it, it looks like something's wrong with the fish, well, right? It looks like somebody put gunpowder on it. So <laughs> let's try this, right? Yeah. That's so, the name. So yeah, mm. but actually the taste is the taste yeah. is good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'll uh, I'll be using that again. 
Very rich, a very rich flavor. Now, is this your seasoning too? I know this is slap your mom's. This is oh, going to okay. be a spicy one. All right. All right. And we'll t see which one we like absolute best. Because look at all the moisture in there. When you leave the skin on, we smoke it for two oh, hours yeah. and it's just dripping. Well, I know what I'm thinking right now. Let me just confirm it. Okay. All right, while you're thinking about what which one you think is better, I. Oh. You know what? This might be something. Ugh. Oh man, <laughs> that's uh, bro. <laughs> you know, that's pretty. <laughs> bully for you. Pretty yeah. gnarly. I think I'm gonna let that one pass. I don't let a lot of stuff pass, but. All right, here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> My glasses are steaming up here. It smells very fishy. <laughs> the skin is so thick. Like a thick case sausage, huh? Fish sausage. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> that we'll, uh, we'll leave that for somebody else. Smoked fish eggs. See if the raccoons or possums will eat that tonight. Yeah, huh? yeah, that's that's not for me. All right, here's my thought on the fish. Slap your mama, number one. Ah. Gunsmoke, number two. And, <laughs> sorry, but Ace first cast, oh, there wow. just isn't enough on there, I don't think. At least that was my, I felt like there should have been more on there for me to taste it better. I like the taste, but I wasn't getting a, a, a big taste of it, so there you go. Wow, that's first cast seasoning gets a, a third. Okay. I like it, but it's just not enough. All right, cool. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, no, I have to admit, Slap Your Mama is actually really good seasoning. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. spicy, guys. It's quite spicy. Mm. Well, my friends, it's not every day that you have a uh, school of fish blow up around your boat like that. So that was, I mean, pretty that special. Was special. That was really yeah. Captured on film. <laughs> yes, yes. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.